So it's been very, very quiet lately, very, very cold. And we started to see some cool things out on Lake Michigan. The Emick boys were out at Lake Michigan this weekend, and they said, okay, what are these icy balls that have formed on the big lake? Well, boys, they're called ice balls or ice orbs. So even in your question, you already kind of stated what meteorologists call them. And what's so cool about these is we especially see them on Lake Michigan or on the Great Lakes. You don't really spot them quite as much on some of those inland lakes. The reason why Lake Michigan Michigan is so big that we start to see frazzle ice coated. And that frazzle ice is the first step for ice orbs to form. So here are the steps or the ingredients that you need in order to get these to form close to the shoreline. First and foremost, you need that slushy ice on top of the freshwater waves. Then you usually need a hard ice chunk to fall into the water and then it rolls around in that frazzle ice and just like we see when we're making a snowman and the snowball gets bigger, 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 when that little ice chunk rolls around in the frazzle ice, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So the more that ice rolls around, the bigger the ice orb gets and eventually that ice orb grows in size until it becomes part of a new ice shelf on Lake Michigan. So here's a view from January of this year. You can see just how big some of those ice orbs were over in the Muskegon area. Again, Lake Michigan at 4% ice. And right now the Great Lakes is running above average in terms of ice coverage, the most being Lake Erie.